Wow. That's a beautiful ride. For Brazilian surfer Maya Gaber, her dreams have always been as big as the waves she surfs. The world record was always a dream of mine. For nearly 20 years, the five foot five big wave surfer has taken on the male dominated sport by storm. I love to be in the ocean. I think it's, uh, I'm probably more comfortable and happy in the ocean than in land. <laughs> She's a seven time world champion and holds two Guinness World Records, including this record smashing surf in 2020. I was a little bit frightened at that moment, to be honest. Maya riding a 73 and a half foot wave in Nazari, Portugal. I just heard that immense explosion and I realized not only it was really, really tall, but it was very powerful and it was very close to me. <laughs> the biggest wave surfed by anyone that year and the biggest wave ever ridden by a woman. This January, another victory. At 36 years old, Maya once again taking the top spot at Nazarene's Big Wave Challenge. I was coming back from an injury, so that's always very challenging. Her journey to greatness is a story of perseverance and courage. Every day, you would go to the beach and not really see any girls in your everyday like surfing routine. She moved from Brazil to Hawaii when she was just 17, quickly getting herself into big wave competitions and winning. I kind of ventured into the world of surfing always with boys. <laughs> But in October 2013, one of those massive Nazarene waves nearly killed her, knocking her unconscious and breaking her ankle before a fellow surfer helped pull her out to safety. Doctors warned her she may never be able to compete again. But she got back on the board, setting her first Guinness World Record just five years later. I think that's in sports, right? I mean, every sport you fall and you get injured and you want to get back up because you love it. Her love for the ocean, also something she works on off the board. She's an ocean conservationist and an advocate with organizations like UNESCO and Oceana. I just try to find all the ways I can maximize my time out there. I think it's a great place to get in touch with nature, to learn, to um, be connected. And one more thing on her resume, children's book author writing stories inspired by her real-life experiences of breaking records and gender stereotypes, plus overcoming her own challenges, like asthma. I got one little girl come up to me once after the book, and she, she grabbed on to me. I think she was around six or so. She was like, but do you really have asthma? And I was like, yes. And she was like, I have it too. So it's, it's unique when you can connect to kids like that. Now Maya's inspiring other young surfers to take on the waves, even if it means getting knocked off once or twice. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.